of uh, I've done a lot of studying on England over the last, uh, you know, over Christmas time, etc. Uh, I spoke to Martin Gleeson, who's a rugby league uh, coach at Salford, junior, one of the coaches, and uh, he agreed with that. I, I've been watching England, and uh, there's a big Bath influence there, obviously, uh, with the pivot being uh, being a Bath player, and they, they play a little bit like uh, my old team, the Wigan Warriors, actually. Uh, they're playing to a 45%, 55% line, which is the left post or right post. You know, they're trying to get you to number up wrong on your left or right edge. And the, the trigger for them, which where the ball's going to go generally, is the fullback. Uh, he'll have a look and see which way, you know, he you, you thinks you've numbered up wrong and, and they'll attack that side. And then they're coming at you with the what of, what is called, you know, lead plays, where that ball out the back, out the back. And uh, it's important that, you know, we get our structure right on that. It's also important that, you know, there's, there's no obstruction of our defensive players up ahead of the ball. Uh, because well, you know when you watch rugby league games, there's a lot of tries disallowed in rugby league when they go to the TMO. If there's been any obstruction ahead of the ball, um, it is generally you know done for obstruction, and I'm sure that the you know the TMOs and, and the referees would be will be well aware of that. Uh, it is a risk doing a lot of those lead players because of the obstruction rule, and I think the obstruction rule is is administered even more harshly in rugby union than possibly what it is in rugby league.